everybody! Well, let's just get right back into it. This is part two of the, the Zoltan Type A run on easy, which so far so good. Can't really uh, offer too much in the way of complaints. Cloaking, a couple of uh, good augmentations. Am I full? I am full on augments. Uh, automated, re automated reloader, defense scrambler. Firebomb takes two power. Hmm. It does no hull damage, if I remember correctly. But it does create a fire. If I could use this with, like, hacking, that seems like it would be super useful, but um, I shouldn't get too far ahead of myself with respect to stuff like that because uh, I've already spent so much on scrap, or so much on systems to begin with, um, that I kind of feel like I maybe shouldn't uh, count my chickens before they hatch, or I shouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth. That's the outdated analogy I was looking for. So, I'm not going to use cloaking just yet. I just want to see if I can take out the uh, enemy shields first. Seems like it should be pretty likely. And there we go, and we'll land a decent halberd beam. Might as well shoot one more missile. We got 28 of them. We'll fire that on their weapons. Uh, and then we'll wait for their next shot to come in. And there it is. So I, I fired the ion blast quickly. Let's turn off the auto fire on that. And then get up to 87% dodge chance. Hey, the flat cannon actually managed to hit me. I think that's a flat cannon mark two. Which is pretty dangerous, because that actually means that it has uh, seven flak, I think. Which is just crazy town, but let's see if this takes out their weapons. Four fuel is a pretty good offer, but 26 scrap is horrible, so now they have a, a laser and a uh, shitty beam. That's not going to do too much for them. I think we're going to be totally fine here. We can use our missile if we want, or one of our missiles, I should say, if we want to. I don't really want to. Instead, I would much rather just uh, say, like, hey, uh, you're dead. Goodbye forever. It's not really good trash talk. I got to work on that a little bit, but God damn it, Jim, I'm a pilot, not a joke miracle worker. We'll jump over here with the perfect number of scrap. Next priority, uh, we need more weapon power. And that's going to be an opportunity for us to get a lot of uh, sweet-ass uh, scrap there, from just from having a beam weapon. Which is another reason why I like the Zoltan Cruiser so much. We'll move our missile launcher over there, and all of a sudden, now we have a Burst Laser Mark II with three extra shots that will be active for us as well. Super important! This is going to tear through, you know, as many as... Uh, four bars of shields, I think, if we're, uh, if we're lucky. So they're gonna try to get away. Their defense drone can't do, uh, anything at all, though. So, let's make sure we're firing Ion Blast, uh, auto-firing on shields for now. They're not gonna be able to get through our shields at all, I think, with their weapons. They've, uh, invested maybe a little bit too heavily in drone power. So I'm gonna wait on this burst laser, and we're gonna try to fire it at the same time as, uh, our halberd beam to get the maximum effectiveness out of it. Okay, that's good enough, and then we can just do something like that. And that'll do 8 damage, presumably, and uh, really ruin a lot of their subsystems as well. And there's no need to use cloaking in a situation like this anymore. Um, they can get their drone active again. Seems like it shouldn't maybe be their number one priority, but, you know, who am I to say? And we're not really tearing through ships as quickly as I thought we would be. That being said, still pretty happy with it. A pre-igniter would obviously be just absolutely crazy at this point, but so be it. You can't always get what you want. And at this point, we can basically micro between Burst Laser and... Uh, the Leto, if we want to, so they're gonna try to get away as well. Well, you know what? We can basically two can play that game. Um, but what we're gonna do here is a little different. We're gonna fire exclusively on like their piloting system with our ions, and that'll take us out because obviously we don't have stealth weapons. But uh, burst laser will of course go on their weapons. They almost got our energy shield down, but I don't think it's gonna matter because the halberd beam will kill them right now. If I can just get uh, eight damage here, no problem. That was another relatively easy one. 95 scrap, and at this point I'm like, man, I don't know if I can afford to buy any more systems, but we'll see. So there's a mantis pod, I'm gonna pry it open, just because if we lose a crew member, it doesn't really matter, we have seven. We got a magnus, uh, and it's a, a magnus, a mantis. Uh, so we're gonna get rid of, um, it's a good pilot, we can get rid of Weston, who is also a pilot. And, uh, yeah, that'll, that'll allow us to have a mantis pilot, who is actually a little bit better. That was a straight up upgrade, plus we got a mantis who is better at fighting. Mind you, we're probably not going to use them too much for fighting, considering they're going to be our pilot. There's no reason to hire another crew member. Although, honestly, hiring an NG seems like a pretty good idea due to the repairs. I'm just going to save our scrap instead. And we'll go to the store, and I'm a little disappointed because I don't think I'll be able to actually buy anything. They don't have a pre-igniter anyway. Flat cannon would be really useful for getting the halberd beam down, though. I'll admit. Um, we can get four shots in 20 seconds on that charge laser. It's just too much power, though. Flat cannon uh, takes 10 seconds. And it does three damage. Or three shots, I should say. 
I maybe I'll wait I'll wait around for a flak too. And I don't think I'm gonna buy anything else here. Um, I'm gonna buy fuel, and then I'm just gonna I'm gonna work on me for a while. Is that what it, really what I should do? No, you know what? I should either get hacking or mind control. I think I'm gonna go for mind control because hacking's expensive and it uses drone parts, which I don't have a lot of. Um, so yeah, I think I'll go. For, I'll, I'll go for the mind control unit. I think we're gonna get enough scrap uh, as we move forward throughout the game to actually be able to make this work. So it's a little dangerous, of course. That's all right. Uh, the scrap comes fast and furious later in the game. No need to power up our mind control unit right now, uh, of course. We will. Uh, if they, I think they're trying to get away. So we're actually going to stop firing the Ion Blast and let our cloak uh, take a second so our Halber Beam can nearly get charged. We're going to see if this shot lands. It does. Then we're going to fire a Burst Laser on this. Uh, okay, good enough. And then we'll do uh, one of these bad boys. Like this. It won't kill them, I think, but it'll do a, a huge amount of damage. And then at this point, it's just a uh, Ion Blast Burst Laser. And there's not much they can really do to stop me here. With three shots from the Burst Laser, uh, we're going to get through shields when they have 0% dodge chance, and, uh, you know, that'll do it right there, even though that wasn't the perfect beam placement, of course. Certainly, I would say we need another bar of reactor power now, so we can uh, keep mind control powered up easily. And we'll, we'll continue doing some jumping here. We don't have enough fuel, so I'm going to just jump to the exit. I'm not, for, weirdly enough, I'm not really super pleased with this run. Three missiles for three drone parts. I will do it just in case we have a chance to get a, another hacking unit later. But we, so I'm not thrilled with this run yet, but we are only on Sector 6. And uh, we know what needs to be done now, I think. If we can't buy a pre-igniter, and by all means it seems like we can't, uh, then it seems like our best option is going to be, well, we'll mind control the pilot here. Uh, our best option is going to be picking up uh, as, as much cloaking and as much mind control as we possibly can. That's probably pretty obvious. Just wait a second. Our cloaking is going to like coincide. Cloaking ending, I should say, is going to coincide with our uh, ions hitting. And then we're going to fire our burst laser in. Good enough uh, to then do something like that. And that won't kill them, but again, it'll it'll do quite the number on them. Obviously, we don't want to fight uh, our Zoltan against a Rockman. It's a terrible trade for us, so we'll just swap the placement on these guys. Uh, and we actually did almost take damage there. I don't know why I'm not firing my burst laser. We'll put that on their weapons. That's uh, nearly good enough to kill them. The teleporter doesn't work. Oh, they sent him back. It was actually just on cooldown. Thank God. Because I didn't want to fight them any longer. Oh, right. Halberd Beam. I didn't want to fight them any longer. So, uh, I'm glad that we got that sorted out then. This Zoltan is not super healthy, but that's okay. We can send him to the med bay when, uh, when we need to. For now, we should definitely save our layout here, though. All right. So, uh, I really like getting third level of mind control before third level of cloaking. We can afford to get at least a second level here. We do need to get a third bar of shields up. We need to get more uh, more dodge chance if possible. Please tell me we get more scrap here. We should get more scrap here. Uh, intruders on board right away, huh? Uh, the Rockmen. And this doesn't strike me as a terrible situation. You have to go through the door room, huh? What if I put you in mind control instead? Uh, like so. So I did this basically just to... Um, just to ensure they actually have to fight for it. We could also mind control one of the people that has invaded us here, but I don't think that's that important. Let's get ready to use our cloak when they're about to shoot us. Just get ready. They haven't shot us yet, so I actually am going to fire a burst laser in quickly on all of their crew. Ah, let's do it on weapons. Let's, let's not get fancy with it. Okay, so they still have a flat cannon coming up. This Zoltan has to get out. That's fine. Just run. Flat cannon still hasn't fired, so I'm going to... Uh, Launch a halberd beam in a second, once their next bar of shields comes down. Uh, didn't really work out that way, did it? Let's try this again. Oh, they fired their flat cannon, so I'm going to quickly halberd beam, and then um, then we'll get the hell out of dodge and, and cloak our way out of these flat cannon shots, ideally. Oh, cloaking has no power because the Zoltan's not in there anymore. That's fine, uh, they want to surrender. That's a little bit what I was afraid of, uh, and the fire in the med bay is worthless because it's already deoxygenated, but they're dead. Okay. A little scary, but we made it. A little hull damage. Never hurt anybody. It's a good thing. Shows us uh, where the weaknesses on our ship are. So, we need to send everybody... We need to send some people into the med bay, let's be honest. Uh, Fleishy, you need to go to the med bay. Yoin, you need to go to the... You're already going to the med bay. Probably Ohm, you should go to the med bay. You're pretty far away from it. Everything else is, is fixed up. And then we'll send people back to base. 
I did this basically so I could go to the shop next. I realize I have a firebomb, and I'm trying to decide whether I want to use the, uh, the firebomb or the leto. It's, it's cheaper to use. Oh, we need to upgrade weapons once more at least. Here's what I'm thinking. For the flagship specifically, the firebomb seems super useful because in like the, a lot of their rooms are isolated, right? Uh, so if you think about like that three missile bay that they have, I can mind control the person in the bay, shoot a firebomb at it, and then it's never coming back, right? That guy's just going to burn to death, and then the system will be offline forever. I don't think there's any automated repairs on it, so um, that, that seems like it would be crazy useful. But we need to at least get one level of weapon power to get our missiles back in the first place, so... No matter what they have here, they have small bomb, halberd beam. Sure, two halberd beams would be awesome, but uh, we're, we're gonna not do that. It would be great though, because they charge at the same time. Takes three power. Nah. I, I, I like our setup as it is right now, okay. So we'll buy as much fuel as we can. I don't even think there's a need to fix up. And we'll just, we'll just keep jumping here for now. Third level of shields, I, I would love if that would come up too, but... Can't always get what you want, I suppose. We got a Hull Smasher Laser Mark II and 69 scrap, which is just perfect, but um, it does three shots. It does more damage on systemless rooms. Uh, and what's the charge time? It has a three second longer charge time, which is going to be the deal breaker in this situation. Uh, even though it's got that extra hull damage, I uh, it's got a low breach chance, low fire chance, low fire chance. This has no breach chance. I like this because it, it charges a little faster. And uh, we'll sell that. We'll sell that. That's that's basically all there is to it. We need another bar of reactor power. Maybe we don't do that. Um, I almost feel like we'll, we'll go for cloaking this time, and then we'll. It's gonna cost us a hundred there. Uh, sure, that's that's fine for now. So I got that extra bar of cloaking. Uh, my hope is that eventually we'll get to the point where a halberd beam will charge in one go. Like what? We'll just cloak when the match starts, and then fire everything all at once. I'm not sure if that's the best way to handle it, but that's the way I'm probably going to handle it. Third bar of cloaking should be able to make that happen. Uh, we got a hull repair drone and some extra scrap. We will hit up this distress beacon. We got a lot of stuff to sell. Um, now that I've I've amassed a few things here, added a quest marker to our map. Mm, yeah, we can make it. We might have to do some fighting here, but I think we can make it. We can always cloak out of combat anyway. Okay, so they have a couple of defense drones. No big deal. We will definitely go on their pilot here. They don't have a teleporter, and teleporters are the most annoying thing for me. Even if we have enough crew to pretty reliably deal with them. So Ion Blast should be basically auto-firing on shields. We don't even need to worry about their lasers. They have jack shit for offense. They might be able to get through our energy shield, but that's it. So, three shots here. They all hit, and the Ion hit as well, which gives me a great opportunity to uh, basically destroy their whole livelihoods here. Like so. That's bad for their business. And, uh, yeah, again, there's no need for a cloak. We'll just keep firing, auto-firing, I should say, the, the Ion Blast. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be them surrendering, but I'm not going to accept it because that would be ridiculous. And we can just do that. Not even the ideal uh, Halberd Beam shot, but it got the job done. 66 scrap is a lot. Is there a store? Does not appear so. Oh, no, did I make a terrible mistake? I really thought I could jump a little faster. Well, we should upgrade our shields then, because we might... Or actually, we should upgrade cloaking to level 3, because we might have to get out of a, a terrible fight here. So, uh... Yeah, sure. We need more reactor power. Yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to deal with the rebels. That was a little stupid of me, but we did get a lot of scrap out of it, so if I can just cloak and not die, then that's fine. You know what? Um, they're gonna cloak, and they're gonna come out with, like, a shot active. Almost. We're gonna uh, definitely go on their pilot here. Uh, and when they shoot, even though we have an energy shield, there we go. They just we, we took two damage, but then they fired like five things at once, and we just got out of the way of it. Uh, we'll wait for a halberd and burst laser to be charged up, and uh, and ion blast. But ion blast is just implicitly like always charged up. So see if this lands, and then this don't cloak. And then we do that and hit cloaking shields, clone bay, and weapons. Good enough. Okay, they have no cloaks anymore. That will be the end of their uh, their threat, essentially. Make sure we hit weapons again. They do have a lot of lasers. Probably not enough to get through our shields. But uh, enough to be annoying, at least. And we'll hit some more valuable systems here. That will uh, that'll take them out. Now we have the test. <laughs> the real test, which is how the hell are we going to not get, uh, we'll depower engines one. How the hell are we not gonna get killed by this pursuing rebel ship? Yeah, this was a miscalculation on my part. It's okay, it happens. 
We might actually be able to kill them. They don't look that strong. Mind control the pilot. Typically, we can fire in uh, one ion blast before they attack, but I'm not too worried about it. Instead, I'd rather just cloak out of their first shots. So that was like three. We'll just cloak right now. Stop them from shooting anymore. Uh, and now that everything we have is charged up, ion blast and uh, burst laser go on the shields. We missed. We missed a little bit more than I would be comfortable with most of the time, but we do still have the halberd beam, which can get through uh, one bar of enemy shields and still do damage. Here come their shots. This is a little dangerous. The flat cannon in particular. It hasn't shot yet. Okay. Uh, keep burst laser going on those uh, those shields. So the halberd beam can, can absolutely finish them off next time it's active. Ion. Uh, my ion must have missed. Flat cannon also missed, thankfully. Are they teleporting onto my ship? That seems like a silly idea. Give it a second here. Um, we, we should be able to win right now, but... Not win, but set in motion. The, the motion of winning. The emotion of winning. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, basically, they have no shields, so this should hurt them a great deal. Yeah, take out their oxygen, take out their weapons. Not going to be big fans of that, if I had to guess. And I uh, kind of just want to keep attacking Oxygen Man here. Probably should have gone on weapons, though. I just, as lo the longer their oxygen stays out, the better it is for me. Mind control's not working. Let's mind control this medbay dude. Might as well cloak for a second to have a better chance of dodging those shots that they just fired. And then we'll just kill them. So, yeah. Sucks to be the rebel, uh, rebel ship there. We got one fuel for that, which is... Uh, obviously the ultimate piss off, but that's okay. And let's move on. This will be us moving on to sector uh, sector seven now. I'm not sure what my chances are against the rebel flagship, to be honest with you. Oh, good. Let's start a nebula. Yeah, that seems like a really good idea, especially with only three fuel. I'm excited. Let's see, oh, we got a, a fight first, but at least it's not like an ion storm. Okay, so they boarded us. Uh, where did they board us? I'm trying to see what door they're attacking. They're in the mind control room. That's annoying, actually. Uh, who is it? Two humans? You can send a mantis and a rock man in there to fight them. Should be doable. Let's get our med bay powered up. Just so we can uh, send people there as necessary. And we're gonna rotate people in and out of this fight pretty quickly. Like, rock man's getting hurt, so rock man, you're out. And human, you're in. And then when the mantis gets hurt, which should be pretty soon, if at all. Ah, no, they're all gonna be fine. Okay. Everyone get in the med bay. Easy fight. Just disappointed we didn't get anything out of that. Obviously, we need fuel. That's that's one of the most important things for us to get. And I really can't stress enough at this point, uh, now that I look at our, our ship. Stealth weapons. I would trade uh, not Zoltan Energy Shield, but maybe Automated Reloader for stealth weapons. That would be incredibly useful. We need to find a store, so I, I basically have to jump further into this nebula. Uncover as many beacons as possible. Trade. Uh, that's a bad trade. There's no store here, so this is uh, this is where it ends unless we get fuel on this fight, uh, which should be plausible. They appear to be... Uh, we have no power in some things here. Okay. Uh, since they only have one laser active, I think we can depower one bar of cloaking, and that's that'll be good enough to get oxygen going, which is, you know, kind of important in my perspective. We can also depower the med bay, and uh, maybe that'll give me that extra 5% dodge chance. Or it could make us cloak longer. Cloaking longer maybe is more effective, but sure. This is fine. This is basically like where we were for the entire start of this, uh... We'll cloak here. Uh, for the entire start of this round, uh, was not really having, uh, anything beyond Ion and Halberd Beam. And it worked out totally fine. Halberd Beam in particular, uh, is just crazy good like that. Uh, we'll continue Ion Blasting. There's no reason not to, I guess. And I'm pretty sure that they're actually, like completely incapable of doing damage to us, so wonderful. Howard Beam's gonna come in and we'll just make sure we hit exactly the same systems we did last time. It's it's a okay surrender offer. The reason I can't accept it is because I need fuel. There's no negotiation here. Unless they give me fuel, it's not worth anything. So uh, we're we're gonna hope that that works itself out. Halberd Beam is, is kind of worthless in this situation, but it's okay. Just wait. There we go, and we'll land another one. Slow everything down a little bit, and on the next attack, we should win. Could go with the burst laser instead of the halberd beam. Charges up a little faster. Whatever. We're going to be fine regardless, but... Uh, yeah, mostly what I'm concerned about is not getting fuel here. This would be bad for us. They gave us two fuel, which is enough for us to hopefully get to a store. So we're going to jump out to this distress beacon. And on Sector 7, typically... Oh, there's just nothing here. 
Oh, there is a store. Thank God. On Sector 7, typically you want to be scouting as much as possible so that you can get as much scrap as possible, but uh, not in this case, apparently. No weapon pre-igniter anyway, but we, we have a lot of things to sell. Hull laser, we're selling. Hull repair, we're selling. That takes us up to 151 scrap. We can buy four fuel. Don't spend it all in one place. Uh, yeah, sure, a teleporter could be interesting. Drone control does not come with a defense drone, so I'm less concerned about that. There's another store in the area, so what I'm thinking is we'll just, uh, we'll bounce around here, keep buying fuel as much as we can, get as much scrap as we can. Uh, reject their offer, obviously. Uh, I want that powered up. And that powered up, okay. Uh, yeah, we're... I mean, oh, there's another store over here, so we should be able to bounce around a little bit. When we get to the final sector, we'll be fine for fuel. Yeah, I'll access the cash, but it's okay. Um, so they're gonna come at us with a shot basically as soon as they come out, and then we'll repeat the process for them. What I'm getting at here is that um, Sector 7 has not been the uh, windfall that typically maybe you would expect it to be. And that's okay. Those were all big misses for them there. Uh, it is okay, even though it might seem like it's not. We're just gonna wait for everything to charge up here. All we gotta do is, is tailor our ship in such a way that it's good at beating the Rebel flagship. Is our existing ship good at beating the Rebel flagship? Hard to tell until we get there, to be honest with you, but we'll, we'll surely find out pretty soon. Can't believe the Halberd Beam actually didn't kill them there. It's okay, though. Uh, the next Burst Laser Charge will. Their dodge chance has to be zero, or nearly zero. And uh, we got a Chain Ion, but honestly, I, I like the setup we've got now. Maybe replacing... Can we still get to the exit of this? Yeah. Maybe replacing our uh, our Leto with the firebomb, but we need to upgrade our weapons to get to that point anyway. I'll sell I'll sell five missiles. That's what I will do for you, and I'll spend it all on fuel, because I'm likely not going to need 25 missiles, and the uh, repair stations will give me more. So the anti bio beam is really interesting. The Pegasus. Uh, we have to talk about this because it's really good. But um, I'll sell the chain ion. Will I be able to get the weapon power necessary to make this happen? It's going to take three power. Can we even get that? No, we can only get two more. We don't have enough to power up the Leto right now. So we can only get two more. We could do it if we like got rid of Ion Blast or something like that, but... Uh, I think... Um, I think we're maybe just going to want to go with the Firebomb. So here's what I'm thinking. Ship. Two bars of weapons, two bars of reactor power. That's a lot of our scrap. Then we go to the store, and we sell the Leto. Pick up the firebomb. I bought all the fuel already, that was smart. Hacking stun is actually uh, not useful for us at all. And we leave. Does this make us much better? I honestly think it does. Of course, things like a pre-igniter would, would take us to the absolute next level. We don't really have a choice in that, though. Actually, I got kind of lucky. I thought we could jump right to the exit, but we can't. But we have enough fuel to get to the exit anyway. And typically, the repair station will give us fuel if we can even jump to the next sector from this one. Um, sure, I'll give him five missiles again. We have zero fuel, but... Oh, God. Uh, let's turn our distress beacon on. I hope I didn't just screw us out of another chance here. All right. Um... We'll wait again. This time, they've given us fuel for scrap. Decent trade. Let's get the fuck out of here. All right, it's the flagship fight, as is usual. Um, they gave us 10 fuel, just in time. And we're going to move out over here. Repair station will give us more fuel, more missiles, more drone parts. There could be stores in the area as well. Um, it's the horses. We'll communicate peacefully. They gave us a shield NG and some scrap. I think we can afford to get rid of, like, um... Who's, who's on shields right now? Ohm, the rock man? Yeah, sorry, Ohm. You'll be dismissed, and Atreyu instead. We'll come in here, and you'll be on the shield room, and now we have a more diverse crew, which is good, because uh, we can play to the strengths and weaknesses of everybody. We need one more bar of reactor power for uh, the third level of cloaking. I really did not upgrade my systems as much as I thought I would on this one. We'll go to the repair station, I guess. Uh... We don't really need anything, but we could use some stuff, I suppose. Yeah, it's got a lot of everything there. We'll go to the base, and then we'll probably end up fighting the flagship. Uh, I'm really disappointed that I don't have third level of, of cloaking yet. I just want to see if maybe there's a store in this area. Sorry, I, we have third level of cloaking. We don't have third level of mind control. 
So we're gonna fight this rebel sh ship. Um, they have defense drones, so this is gonna be a good test for us when it comes to using our um, defense scrambler in conjunction with the, the firebomb. Where am I gonna launch this firebomb? Wherever the mind control shit's happening, I think is the, the smartest idea. They just fired a missile, so I think I'm actually just gonna cloak and that, those will all miss us. And we'll wait for everything to be charged, which they now are. So we'll ion blast. Uh, it doesn't really matter what we hit with that. Nothing is actually the counter argument to that. It matters if we hit nothing. And the halberd beam, uh, we've got the firebomb coming in, but the halberd beam can also come in like uh, this, I suppose. Let's try that out. See how the firebomb must have missed? No, it worked. It hit their piloting area. Okay. So they're going to try to escape. That's going to be bad for their business. See if we can hit the piloting system again. Their dodge chance has to be nearly zero. Can't believe they didn't die in there. That's okay, though. We'll drop another firebomb in their, uh, in their piloting area here. I think it worked. It's kind of hard to see whether or not it worked. It's okay, though. They missed with their missile. Halber Beam will come in. I don't think we're strong enough to beat the flagship, but I have been wrong before. We tore through that ship quite easily. It gives us a lot of scrap. And there is no store nearby, so we're about to fight the rebel flagship. Get next to that and that, and that's about it. So we have third level mind control now. Dodge chance is pretty bad. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Let's do it. Uh, I think we've got a chance. A chance. So as we start here, let's think about how we want to handle this. That three missile launcher has to go down. Even before shields if possible. If we can get it down, it'll stay down forever. With a firebomb and mind control. So I think we mind control this man. And then we just sit back and wait. And then the first time they take a big shot, uh, we dodge out of the way. Three lasers is not a big shot. They All three of them missed. This is a big shot. Three missiles. They obviously all missed as well. Okay, here we go. Uh, Halberd Beam is charged. Firebomb goes on the missile area. See if it lands. It did. That's going to cause some serious problems because he's going to burn to death. And he's attacking the system. And it's going to burn. Um, Ion Blast on shields. Come on. Missed. Um, well, we can try Burst Laser. It worked. It worked well enough for me to get in a shot. And I'm going to try that shot not hitting the missile launcher. We'll hit this uh, laser instead. And uh, sure, it did something. Good enough. Uh, our, our shields are a little bit impacted. They've uh, taken out our engines with their repairs, or sorry, with their hacking, which is bad. No kidding, but uh, our, our dodge chance is going to get real low as a result of that. We're about to be able to cloak again. How do we want to do this? Uh, I guess the next time like an ion shot comes in, we'll cloak. But almost everything we have is charged. So I'm going to firebomb uh, their shields quickly. These have to go out. It worked, and we'll be able to use mind control again soon. So I'm going to ion blast and burst laser the, the shields as well. Okay, so there come their ions. Uh, I am just going to cloak out of the way of those, just to be safe. And then, if possible, we'll wait, we'll wait till things get charged up again. And then I will uh, I'll, I'll unleash the full might of the halberd beam on them here. So we want uh, definitely ions and bombs. Oh, you're so lucky. And that really impacts my cloak as well because I shot out of it. It's okay, though. Okay for now. There we go. So we're going to mind control now uh, the pilot so we don't miss very much anymore. And we're going to wait for ion blast to be ready, I think, before we, uh, before we try this burst laser shot and halberd beam combo. It hit, and then Burst Laser should hit. hit it hit enough uh, for us to do this again and take out their, their laser in addition to the shields and etc, etc. I'm not too worried about the cloak. We're actually going to launch a firebomb again. It went off. That's good enough. Uh, they, they've got some real problems happening here. So we'll wait for the next big shot to come out from them. Uh, you know what? No, we won't. We'll Burst Laser. We didn't hit, but that's okay. They're going to cloak. I'm not going to cloak. I'm going to wait until they... Um, until they're done with, with their cloak here. So our engines are hacked. That lowers our dodge chance substantially. Their beam does nothing. There we go. We, we cloaked. Was it good? Eh. Eh. It was okay. So again. Uh, we firebomb the shields. It, it did okay. It, it went off anyway. That's what's important. Keep them busy here. Get the ion blast in there if possible. It hits. Get the burst laser in. Get, get the burst laser in. I think I shot one of their fucking ions out of the sky with my laser. That might actually be a good outcome. I don't know. Um, we're going to drop another firebomb. This time we're going to put this on their um, shield system. Just because they can't hurt us anyway. So we might as well just uh, burn as many of them to death as we possibly can. 
And if their shields go completely out, obviously they're in a bad place. The next shot that they fire uh, will cloak. If they even have weapons left that can that can do damage to me. Their shield system is going to be in a rough place pretty soon, I'll tell you that much. We're going to mind control... Um, we're gonna mind control their oxygen member. Just fuck with them a little bit. Then we'll cloak. So their ions miss. Burst laser will send in on their ion weapon because it's been super annoying. That's completely offline. And then we'll halberd beam uh, cloaking doors and hacking. And that'll kill them, I think. That was a, a textbook first fight. Not even any harrowing moments. That'll change. It will change. Uh, although they have a store. With this store, we can still get back in time to stop them from killing us uh, at the base like ending our game I just wanted to see if maybe just maybe there was a uh, a defense uh, sorry uh, stealth weapons what do I need now more dodge chance would be ideal oh we're gonna have to deal with the fucking rebels here again I, I'm so stupid when I do this but if stealth weapons had been there we had exactly enough money to make it work all right so they have they have some nasty stuff here we're just gonna take control of their uh, teleporter unit here the reason we did that is so that uh, they couldn't come in there and do uh, nasty damage to our ship because like their weapons shouldn't be able to get through too well we're just gonna cloak out of the way of those their weapons shouldn't be able to do too much so what I'm thinking is that it's a smart idea if possible for us to um, just keep units off of our ship and then we can tear through them pretty easily we could also try to run away from this fight but I don't think it's that important I think we're gonna be fine the ASB is gonna be a problem They've, they have teleported on board I think it's gonna be a very really silly decision from them we're gonna burst laser uh, weapons this time, just so they can't hurt us anymore. And they did blow a hole through our oxygen system there. Rockman's not the greatest repairman in the world, but he'll he'll do fine. It's okay. Halberd beam's about to come in. That's gonna uh, not do anything. This will do something though. Firebomb goes off. Burst laser goes off. And halberd beam goes off. And that killed a lot of them. That's good enough for me. So let's close this up. Rockman is not, again, uh, very good at repairing, but it's okay. We're going to cloak quickly. Just to increase, increase, in, increase, increase our dodge chance here. There we go. Good enough. Let's keep it paused for a second. Sorry, I took a second to take a sip of, of coffee. Um, yeah, the oxygen system, we had some problems. That's okay, though. Get it fully repaired, might as well. And what's the, what's the beauty of this run right now? Normally, I get screwed at uh, Rebel Flag... Oh, that's not what I wanted. It works, though. Normally, I get screwed at uh, Rebel Flagship Part 2 because of the drones. But we do have Defense Scrambler. We do want to get out of here, by the way, because the ASB will still hurt us. Yeah, there it goes. Uh, but that breach is actually meaningless, so... Um, we, uh... Normally, the, the, we get screwed because of the defense drones that they have. But now, our firebomb, we will be able to get through their drones, and none of their drones are going to do anything except for the ones attacking us, which is still scary, but... Um, we're going to mind control uh, pilot. Makes sense, I think. And then we're going to cloak to start with, just to keep their drones from taking down our energy shield. And we're not going to ion blast. We're not going to firebomb. We're not going to do anything like that until everything is ready, which it is now. So we're going to firebomb and ion blast. And uh, then we're going to burst laser. Good enough for our halberd beam to at least come in and do some damage, especially to that missile launcher. Oh, it didn't... It stopped before the missile launcher. Okay, that, that sucks, but... We're okay for now. Depower the medbay, power up the uh, engines for an increased uh, increased chance here. Um, Rockman, you gotta fight for your right to party here. With Remo, preferably. We gotta kill this guy. This is a, a dangerous situation. Our cloak's not quite up yet. We're gonna firebomb shields again. And we're gonna burst laser shields. Come on, don't hit our weapons. Oh, oh okay. Things have been hurt. Piloting system's in a bad place. We can very quickly halberd beam again. We're going to do it in this direction this time. And we did at least disable a little bit of their missile launcher. Rockman, why don't you come in here and help put out the fire in the piloting area? Who's almost dead? Probably Rockman. He's going to die. He is going to die. Let's just accept that. Uh, firebomb on the shields. Burst laser on the missile. Okay, we can cloak. We can cloak again. Their missiles are out. I think I'm going to cloak. <laughs> Take a second to chill out here. You go into the med bay, fix that up if possible. We're winning this fight. It might not look like it, but we're winning it. It's not easy, but we're winning it. The fire is almost out here. Oh my god, they managed to fix it up. Holy shit. Okay, uh, almost ready to go here. Ion just went off, which means we might as well go go hard on this. Come on, firebomb worked. Burst laser on uh, their 
their l drone control unit, I guess. Oh, it's good. And then we'll hit all this shit over here. I think we might be in the money here, but it's kind of hard to tell. Let's mind control the pilot just so we can't do anything. Uh, you know what? Let's mind control this weapons personnel so we can't do anything we'd regret. Shields are fine. Medbay's almost back up. Can we power it up? Yes, and we should. Mantis, you just keep flying. That's your job, buddy. Burst laser's ready to go. Uh, we're going to send that on this beam. Firebomb will send on... Uh, Set on the drone control unit. Good. And uh, Halberd Beam's almost ready to go. This will kill him, I think. We need to hit four rooms, maybe. This should do it. Okay, so third section done. Now what do we do? Uh, well, that guy's dead, so... Everyone that needs to be healed has to go to the med bay. I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that nobody died there. Which is absurd to me, but also beautiful. So some stuff needs to get repaired. That's just a no-brainer. Mind control has to come back up. Third phase of the flagship fight is still bullshit. Still hard. We're just waiting for the oxygen to come back in that room, I guess. Uh, you can go back in here. You guys should get into the med bay. If nothing else, I'm very pleased with the way this run has gone. We do need to fix up our door system. Uh, but yeah, if nothing else, I'm pleased with the way this run has gone. And hopefully we end up uh, being able to, to get through that final phase. We, we can't repair again, I think. Come in here. Uh, yeah, we can't repair again. We may not need to. We may end up barely winning, but this is... It's for the Mantis Cruiser, man. It's for all the marbles, sort of. So, hopefully we, we do win. Yeah, there's no repairs to be made. Unless if I go here, here. But I might not be able to get back in time. But it might make all the difference. If I go here... Well, if I go here, we can fight the rebel ship and then see if they choose to go back to the base. Otherwise, we can go to the repair area and hopefully get repaired. Obviously, they have quite a nasty ship here. We're going to stop them from boarding us, which I think is important. Uh, we only have 12 missiles, which is kind of a sore point for me right now. And the ASB is an issue, of course. But uh, hit that. Maybe burst laser. Uh, let's not use burst laser yet. Let's use firebomb first. And we'll, we won't cloak yet. Firebomb works. Let's use Burst Laser. Uh, good enough. That one missed, I think, but we can get this to work. It did hurt their weapons, at least. And their mind control unit is going to fight, or their their human's going to fight us in the mind control unit. I would suggest against it. We're going to get out of the way of their flat cannon. A couple of those shots, or at least one of them, actually hit us there, which sucks pretty hard. But we'll go on shields again with our Firebomb. And then uh, Ion Blast again. And Burst Laser again. And then Halberd Beam again. Works every time, more or less. Really just worried about this uh, ASB, to be honest with you. You should go into the med bay, heal up pretty quick. All right, uh, Firebomb. You know the drill. Almost killed the crew. Burst Laser can now go wherever we want it to. Good enough to really impact their weapons. I'm worried about the ASB. I should be worried about the ASB. And we'll try that bad boy out. We're fine. Uh, we can jump away now. One fuel. Thank you. Good, good. We can go to the repair beacon. We'll probably have to fight the rebel flagship again, but at least we got something here. We get, we did get some missiles in return as well. So yeah, we have to go back this way, but at least we got our, our hull damage back, or our hull integrity back. Alright, so this is exactly the same ship that I just murdered a second ago. Obviously, we'll mind control uh, the teleporter. It might be better to mind control the pilot. I don't know. It's okay, though. What's done is done. So the Ion Blast auto-firing on shields. You know the drill at this point, probably Firebomb does a pretty good job when it hits, which it didn't there. Uh, there is a point to using Burst Laser, but maybe not yet, so it's Cloak. Just take our time here. There's no rush. Sort of. Well, Ion Blast, Burst Laser, Firebomb, and then use a Halberd Beam. So all four weapons at once did quite the number. That's going to cause them some serious problems. Our shield area has now been uh, really hurt, but we'll send our we'll send our Zoltan, who's on cloaking, in here to help out. It's got to happen, basically. Our sensors have gone down too. Our shields are just really impacted right now, which is a, a real problem for us. Uh, firebomb. It works. <laughs> well, they're like already basically out. Um, good thing I used a. Uh, 
Good thing I went back to that repair station, right? It wouldn't want to go into that final fight being in a bad position hull-wise. Why are our shields so... There we go. Shields are back. Where did we take you out of? You went... You came from the cloaking room. Oh, there's intruders now. Alrighty then. I seem to vaguely recall that. Land this, maybe. We can't... We can cloak for a second here. Let's try it, I guess. Might as well, before our cloaking system inevitably goes offline. Which was, like, unavoidable, pretty much. Alright, people are hurt. Get that breach sealed up. Truth be told, this still worked out well for us, I think. As long as we can get out of this before the, uh... ASB beats the shit out of us. You gotta get that fixed up, man. And you gotta come back this way. Um, close all doors. Open all doors. Except this one. That should stay closed. And we do need to repair the shit out of that cloaking system. Otherwise, we're all gonna die in a terrible accident. Medbay's gotta be powered up, too. That's a big help. Okay, they're about to come here, so... Give it a second. Give it a second. Ah, oh, it hit us! It didn't- it just breached in a, a, a room that doesn't matter, though. So we'll just fix up that breach quickly. Um, everyone who's hurt get to the med bay. We are actually a little bit more hurt, I think, than we were when we originally started this. But it was a gambit that you can probably understand my reasoning in- in doing, at least. Um, people are relatively healed now. Go back to your original bases. Close all doors. And we're gonna jump right away. We gotta fight it. Should be interesting, at the very least. Okay, so they have some kind of super weapon. We can't mind control through their ship. They only have two crew members. It might actually be the easiest thing for us to just, um... Just kill their crew members. So I'm thinking, uh, That the first thing we need to do here is just break through that shield. So everything that we have is gonna fire. Doesn't really matter if it's firing on pilots, to start with. And when they shoot at us, obviously we'll cloak. But we might just focus on kill- Oh! Even if you kill- we're, gonna, we're just going to cloak out of this one. Even if you kill the crew members, I forgot that they actually have AI that makes it... Um, we'll use a halberd beam charge. They have an AI that makes it... Um, so they still attack, so... Now we can mind control. We will mind control the pilot. Firebomb is going to go on the shields. They... Okay, we lived! Barely. That's okay, though. Burst laser, you don't need to auto-fire. Okay, so we're going to... We have to go on shields now. You know the drill at this point, I'm assuming. Here comes the Ion. This is a good time to cloak, but we can't. Uh, burst laser. Come on. Here, they've got a lot of shots coming in here. They just, they breached into a room that had already been breached. No big deal. Uh, this fire does not concern me in the least. This has got to land. Come on, come on. Okay. We still can't take down their shields, which is annoying the shit out of me. We'll get ready for our next cloak, though. We know when it's going to come. When the power surge comes, I guess. Uh, so let's just focus on that for now. Missiles are coming in. That's fine. These fires are... I mean, A, out of control, but B, also meaningless. So just cool it for a second. This is good dodge. Yeah, exactly. Still alive here. Now, firebomb again. Burst laser again. Fine. This is good. Take out that missile launcher. Make sure the beam is landing appropriately. Oh, okay. That's good. The shields are, are really hurting. Still good here. The fires are spreading a little bit. I want to have this rock man come over here and get ready to put it out. Burst laser, we're going to have go on their missiles. Keep those out of commission. Next, we want to hit the other weapon. In fact, to that point, we're actually going to firebomb the other weapon because there's not going to be anything they can do about it. And we'll hit, like, um... I mean, are they even mind controlling us here? But it makes sense to just hit as many of these uh, systems as we can. Like that. Ah, you know what? We should maybe still stay on shields for now. So try something like, uh, that bad boy right there. So that's gonna cut him up quite nicely, as you can see. I think we just won, basically. This shot here might do it. Oh, we did it. We beat it with the Zoltan Cruiser. Feels good, man. Uh, we got, we got the Mantis Cruiser. Pretty textbook run. I was a little scared for a while there, but we made it work. And I'm very happy with myself. That's the best score we've ever done on, on the Adjudicator by a, an order of magnitude, apparently. Really? Oh, because I was using, like, exclusively the Nether earlier. That's the one that doesn't start with a, a ship. Or doesn't start with shields. But, yeah, Zoltan A did a really good job for us there. Sector 8 winning on advanced. We get the Mantis Cruiser. Survived 98 jumps with that guy. 94 beacons explored. Crazy. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episodes, 
Make sure to uh, like part one and part two, especially part two, because this is where you are. And of course, uh, subscribe if you want to see more FTL in the future. We've got the Mantis Cruiser now. Starts with a teleporter. I will probably bung that up something fierce, but at least we made progress. Thanks for watching, of course, and uh, I'm loving FTL, and I'm loving that you guys are loving FTL. I'll see you next time.